I say that to be quite fair. Hello and welcome to Top Island Places. So we've come to abandon an abandoned quarry village in uh, just up in the valleys of Wales where they filmed Torchwood, the episode Countryside. I'm here with the Welsh hunter. Hello. <laughs> so we're gonna have a look, it's a bit windy outside so the audio might not be so good. I could dub over it though if I need to. But we're gonna have a look around anyway. See what we can see. I don't think we're, I'm gonna be able to get the drone up because the wind is really bad. It's shocking. So, uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a walk around anyway and we're gonna show you guys about. Enjoy the video. TV history plus obviously just local Welsh history as well. So we're gonna go and take a look at it guys and uh, see what we can find. Starting with what looks to be a train station that was used during, well, for residents and obviously to bring in and out supplies and the ore that they dug out of this quarry. So let's take a look, guys, and see what we can find. Let's have a look. We're at Penalt Quarry, which was an old lime quarry up in, uh, up in Mid Wales with the Welsh Hunter. It was just there, just there. <laughs> uh, yeah, old quick, originally a quick lime quarry, also silica, silica, quick lime and silica quarry. It's currently stood on the old way bridge. And they used to have a railway coming through here. Um, the railway was originally used for transporting the materials from the quarry, so the silica and the quick lime. And then it was later taken over by the Great Western Railway in 1921 one of the big four and that was and then they started having passenger services so that I found recently found out the bus station there that building just down there was known as Kraginos Kraginos station Kraginos halt um, so we're just down the road from Kraginos castle so we're up at the top Kraginos is just down the bottom of the hill down there and we're on the top so this was um, this was Penalt and just down the road is Kraginos so we're going to show you guys around and hope you all do enjoy this video. Okay, got my phone out. The wind's back. Oh, oh no. Narrow gauge. I think it was because it was narrow gauge originally. I think this this this, this looks more standard table. gauge. No, this is weight table. Yeah, but then so you see the track can, lines there for the for the for the coat. So you can have tracks, obviously driving on these parts, and then you've got the tra uh, traps that used to go on the rails. Mm. Well, the, uh, the it would have been freight freight trains for transporting the freight goods, wouldn't it? Because you can see the um, the track. Yeah, the train track train continues down there. But this I'm looks bigger than this looks bigger than narrow gauge because they said it was narrow gauge. Narrow gauge would be. But you'd be surprised. Here. You'd be surprised. So this this looks standard gauge to me. It may be, but obviously this is a so it must have been table, wouldn't it? So yeah. Trucks, lorries, and. But then. The, the train, the trains, could go on trains would go up, ah, but then if you look at this there, that looks like an older track that's sort of yeah. further in. So maybe that's what, I don't know, maybe? Unless, that's, yeah, it still looks, it still doesn't look small enough to be narrow gauge though, no. the line. We've got big ruins up there, guys, we're going to take a look at. Yeah, though. Shame we can't, it's solid shut. All welded and we've got yep. anti-climb paint everywhere, so we're not going to bother. No, it's covered in anti-climb paint. Yeah, it's covered in it. Obviously a lot of the electrical stuff is stored here. I've got a feeling they had cameras on here at some point. 
at some point, not anymore. Not so you can see the wires coming out, look. Yeah, obviously probably a little storage area. See that there's a lot of light Mind up there. That's all freshly blocked up, see look at that. That's all fresh. That's oh, fresh really, in comparison to the uh, yeah, that's building anyway. But obviously, but this, this quarry, this quarry it's itself is there. is really quite old. It's 19th century. So it's 19th century quarry. This is well old. Just, uh, 1921. 1921. So, so this is the conveyor belt. This stuff will make your some over there as well. If you touch it, I've done that in Vena. Vena quarry, yeah. yeah. This stuff was everywhere, this black felt. It's the con old conveyor felt that is. I don't know if you can get. No, this stuff's actually quite clean in comparison. There's nothing come off on that. <laughs> the Vena qu um, quarry. And what about this bit? No, it's still. Yeah, it's quite clean in comparison. <laughs> the Vena quarry, that's uh, much younger than this place. So, um, yeah. This, this is all, this is weathered, isn't it? Oh, very weathered. This is weathered. Huh. What do you reckon? Pretty neat, isn't it? It is pretty neat, mate, yeah. I don't know what that little building is there. Um, not great. It might be like a check-in in area. Could be, for the quarry workers. Yeah. Well, since this, this was owned by... You've got infrastructure everywhere, so they had several areas. And there's a sign down there that says Hanson, so this must this must have been bought later on as well. Hanson, yeah, Hanson are a big quarry company as well. Massive quarry, they're still active as well, the yeah. Hanson are. Huh? These might toilets. be toilet areas. Yeah, toilets. Has it got any holes in the ground? You got no, it might, it might be just electrical areas then. And the, oh, yeah. Uh, it's asbestos. A bit of asbestos as well, this. The roof's made of it. Yeah, so a couple of electrical panels for there, guys. And this is what they would see. How beautiful is that? That's a blue sky, that. Not a bad day, really, is not it? Not a bad day, not a bad day. And it's not too windy today, I think it's a little breeze. But I can easily correct that. Very nasty stuff. The fibres get caught in your lungs, don't they? It looks like a water. Water tank. Smell it, because it might be fuel. Could be oil. Is it oil? No, it just smells rusty. So I think this might have been water. Water tank, a could water be, tank, yeah. could be. You've got, a, you've got another huge part of the quarry over there as well. There's a bit, there's a... What's that, what, what, what's, what would you call that, that, little, that little structure there, that little... Uh, a feeling that because things that are usually yellow like that were usually um, blasting containers. I think it's a blasting container. Yeah, so usually, well, a few blasting um, place like obviously objects that I've seen. That's sometimes where they kept like blasting caps and dynamite C4 and all that type of stuff that they used to blast with. Mm. So that might very well be that. But we'll take that look at that closer in just a minute. So we're going to head up on top. Yeah, we're just to the top of the quarry. And there's the wind picking up as we go higher again. Feel that. Yeah, I should be able to get to the top of here and walk over the top anyway to those old uh, quarry workers' cottages. Lime, this uh, kiln, isn't it? That one? It might be a kiln. That looks it? like a lime kiln. Look at it, it's disintegrating now. Yeah, that's a lime kiln. That is a lime kiln, isn't it? Maybe. It looks like a lime kiln. Maybe we'll have to try and get some photos of it. We will. will. This video, if, we can't, if I don't have any photos on it, it's going to be a lime kiln. Yeah, that's definitely a lime kiln. Look at it, if I walk around rather than walking up there. It's a lime kiln. Yeah, there's a lime kiln. Kilns. Yeah, they're kilns, yeah. I've seen a kiln before, that's a lime kiln. Yeah. But that's very unstable, look at the way it's just collapsed down yeah, there. Look at the collapse, just on that corner, guys. It's bonkers. 
So I can see why they've fenced this well. off as well, so people... This is the big walking area, guys, so people walk their pets here all the time. So no wonder they're trying to... Like Stop that. it, You yeah. can see that whole section's about to just, fall, can't you? It's just about to collapse, yeah. So yeah, you can see The it. bricks are sort of subsided there. Yeah, they have. And that's all about the collapse. But it's an old right. kiln, it's an, it's an it old 19th century thing. kiln. Late that's why it's... 19th century, Mid 19th century. How big that thing is. So obviously this ground has been piled up around it, so you can't get into. You don't really see. You don't really. See, you don't see old kilns now. No, you don't. No. They don't use them anymore for lime. Lime production's largely moved abroad now as well. This view. Stunning. Fantastic. Stunning view, guys. And that pure blue sky behind the clouds as well. Wow. Obviously this was messed up, this was quite active from what I've gathered. This place was considering that was converted to passenger use in the 1920s. I imagine that the quarry workers would have come up here, so this would have been quite active yeah. in the 1920s just before the war. Quite wide yeah. The structure over there. Oh yeah. No, we don't know whether that land, if you stand on top of that but you could fall into the into the kilns. So Massive quarry though, ginormous quarry. <coughs> oh, and you know the main road we were driving down earlier? That's where they, where they got the little lay-by there, with the, with the grass coming off there. That's where they pulled the SUV over in Torchwood to have a burger <laughs> in the back. <laughs> You know one of them little burger vans you have yeah, at the yeah. corner of the road? Yeah, they pulled over in one of those to get a burger in, uh, in the episode, in that episode of Torture Countryside. So the main road as well, at the bottom. Oh wow, okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> and the cheese. It's the quarry. Yeah. This, you know, this could, if it's at, this at night could be so, this at night or later in the day could be something in a horror sort of a horror film, couldn't it? Yeah, like wrong two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, two right. Definitely. Did it make you did it make you feel inadequate though? Yeah. Like how big this is and how small we are. <laughs> so that man has constructed this. People have, people have constructed this. How did they construct things like this back in the 19th century before you had ex excavators? And How long must it have taken to construct a quarry like this? Well, that must have taken some work. They must have had like pepper. They must have built rails and they had a boring machine going through. Yeah, there was, there was one much health and safety back in those days, it was in the Victorian time. Yeah. But now you got all people wearing, you got everyone wearing PPE these days, and you didn't get that in the 19th century, did you? Incredible view. Massive quarry. The camera does it. Justice, so nope. there's a big drop there, that is such a big... Yeah, don't, don't, if you go over that edge, you're buggered, really. Yeah, if you go over that edge, right there, you are mad. <laughs> yeah. And the bed looks like it's all falling, falling down a bit, like a bit. But look how vast this quarry is. Well, this quarry hasn't been used in quite some time, but it looks a bit... Although we could come back this way, because if we go over and have a, over that to that iron bridge first, so we can get some shots over there. I would like to get on top of that mountain by there. The ridge? Yeah, on top of the ridge and just take a photo. That'd be a good shot from up there. It would, mate. 
Yeah. Have a sit down on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, why don't just uh, take a quick look down there at the drop oh. with the camera, guys, just to oh. show you how high this is. Oh, it's the best place to go down. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Oh. My God. Watch your step. Yes. Watch your step. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to this edge in case it's a bit subsides. That is it's by there. If I stood there, it looks like that could literally subside. Yeah. Like this is very smushy. That's why I don't want to get too close to the edge. You can see that drop there. I'll just get the camera over. Oh my god. <laughs> it's making my legs go just looking at it. You see the, there's water down there as well. Not that it would do you much good if you fell in it. Do you want to sit on the edge? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sit on the edge. It's not solid. If it was solid, yeah, sit on the edge. It's not solid. <laughs> it's not solid. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. And me. So we've come to this other area now, where we've got water with a rock, with a beautiful rock face behind it. So we're going to take some pictures here for a minute guys, then we're going to make our way to the Iron Bridge. See you guys there. There's the Welsh hunter has found bones. Animal bones? Yeah, mate. Yeah, animal bones. Bones. Animal bones. Whoa. Found what we believe to be infrastructure, yeah. Yeah. What's this? One point. Something here as well. And we have these big quarry tyres. Massive quarries. Oh, we found out also this place has been closed since 1977. This place has been closed since 1977. They briefly reopened in 2007 but closed again in 2009. And part of part of the infrastructure part of the rail infrastructure that they used for this quarry was actually built by the great engineer himself Isambard Kingdom Brunel so I don't know there's no way into it whatever it is not on that side isn't it we have to look into that yeah just across here guys we've got the bridge I'm guessing there was another some sort of building There's complex. Other there. structures, yeah, and it's all gone. It's all gone. So you can man. see the foundations here. That's it, man. You can see the foundations. Looking pretty Bricks. Cool. Be quite fair. Bricks over there, remnants of. So maybe this was an office block of some sort. And it's gone now. I mean, after. I mean, some of the original buildings were demolished in the, in the 20th century, so. Yeah, so, so they were demolished before. I know some of the structures were knocked down in the 1980s. Massively vast, and the sun's come out now as well. Which means I've, I can take this coat off <laughs> and I can show you what I'm wearing. Lovely old tiles. So was this like a canteen area? Because that's what type of <laughs> flooring they used to have. <laughs> and then we got a top of van in places, my friend. <laughs> and then we've got the bridge, it's unstable, can't cross it. Oh well, let's cross it anyway. <laughs> oh well, let's cross it anyway. <laughs> I'm guessing this uh, on quite a distance down there as well. So yeah. Photos of that in a bit. We're going to go cross the old iron bridge. Yeah. Uh, it's the ruins over there that we 
one yeah. you can see. And there's more of the quarry as well to see, but we believe so. Yeah. Massive. So that's where we started down there, guys. That's where the car was. And they used to come all the way under this. And right down there. Into God knows what's down there. And just down from the uh, caving centre, you can see what looks like to be some sort of structure there. Yeah, you see? There. Over there is a caving centre, guys, just over there in the distance. Yeah, amazing. You know, that building there, though, would make a good visitor centre if they turn this into oh, yeah. a proper attraction. This is fantastic, though, not gonna lie. I know we've got the caving centre already, they're so active up here, but. A, as a better visitor centre for the area would be that. I think you're better off not crossing that, it's unstable, falling objects, you know. There's grass on it though. Yeah. And there's a big rock on it. The thing is, what, what's hiding under the fair grass here could yeah. be so rotten, could not it? And then we, unless we walk back down there, go out the gate and go up that way. I'd like to try and get a photo of the bridge though. Oh yeah. Come in. Oh, there's flies everywhere. Yeah, there is. Ooh, that looks all marshy down there, look. It does, though. That building, I don't see. Hmm, I'll have a look now. There's a way up to that building. Just at the bottom end of the bridge now. Yeah. Looks really marshy, yeah? It looks really marshy, though. Look at that. It's a little bit over going down there. there. Fantastic. Huh. I wonder what's up there, though. I'm on the marsh. <laughs> it's all marshy. Look at that. But how amazing is that? How the bridge. amazing is that? Madness. Be good fly. I might fly the drone over the bridge actually. Yeah. Like I want to have a look at the Moses first, but then yeah. after that. How is that? Okay, let's have a look. We'll have a look at those ruins. So guys, we're going to head up to those ruins over there. Can't see them from here, but we're going to have a look now. Looking up to the old quarry, the old quarry houses. Although there is what looks like to be an active. Property next door on the uh, article. Yeah. Here's the bridge from this side. Yeah. As you can see, it's a lot more fenced off from this end. Look at that shot. <laughs> right, so we're gonna have a walk to the ruins. Other side of the bridge, as you can see, yeah. a lot of. Uh, yeah, you just noticed this nice little sign over there. Shot firing warning signals before firing one three minute blast of siren. All clear, three short blasts of siren. Yep. And obviously, that's for all the blasting that used to take place as well. <laughs> I'm going to wander around these. Whoa. Oh my god, look at that. Jeez. So yeah, not a lot left of these. subsided oh god it's an old fireplace in there though yeah the yeah they're separate dwellings yeah because there's uh you can see the fireplace in there I'll certainly try See the old fireplace slash stove there. Old fireplace. Really old mining era 
type building. Yeah, how amazing this is. 19th century properties, probably abandoned since that time as well. There's one there. Look at that wall though, that's about to crumble any day now. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be walking through this. Should I walk under this? I'll be alright, I think. I'll be alright. Oh. Yeah, look at the wall there, guys. That is dodgy. Proper dodgy. He must have been midgets to fit for rabbit. I oh, know. That's a doorway. People were shorter back then, though, weren't they? Yeah, they were shorter. Biologically shorter. Yeah. People have gotten taller over the centuries. I bet the average, in, in time to come, the average person will be like eight foot yeah. in the future. Oh. Some sort of shed. Could have been a coal or an outhouse. A lot of people had outhouses back yeah. then. So they went outside to use the toilet because a lot of them didn't have toilets inside. Oh my god, look at that. Jesus. The outside of it is just falling away. With one little push that could all collapse easy. Oh yeah. Look yeah. at it, it's already a lot of it's already come down there. Yeah, it's kind of that's the fact of there being hay bales outside it though, I believe they use this land. <laughs> I know it's close to the house, but sure. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Come on, come see him. Oh yeah. Hello doggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at him here. I know, look at that. Three entrances, three houses. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Obviously Three old quarriers' houses. Quarry workers. Yeah, old quarry workers' houses, I can imagine. You know, they might have been just residents, mate. Could have been. Long ago, some gunshots on a peak over there. All there. A lot of gunshots around here, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of gun. gun there's all ruins over there by ruins. the by the active house as well, look. Yeah. Well, this is just simply amazing, guys. Nice bit of Welsh history there for you. This one has completely just fallen down. Whoa, <laughs> it's just gone. Down. But then I, I believe there was damage sustained in the war as well. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Honestly, wouldn't. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me. And this one, just a nice little windows intact. Yeah, you windows see, intact. We seem to have. Lovely fireplace there, and in the top left corner of the dwelling as well. Another one. Still a beam up there as well. Oh, yeah. Just held but on. Look at this one. Just held on. By a little but if bit. I touch that, it's going to come down. <laughs> oh God. How amazing is this though, guys? Look at that. Incredible. Incredible. Let me get a shot from up here. Fantastic. Look at that, there's a door leading into it there as well. A couple of doors. That's a side entrance, or they I might be the main door. Actually. I'm hoping I can find pictures of these, but yeah. I doubt it. If we can find pictures, guys, we'll chuck them up on the. We will. Whilst we're looking at these bu uh, buildings, have like a vintage effect on the. Yeah. But if not, guys, then uh, this is all you will see. This mm -hmm. is Welsh history. Piece right of Welsh here. history rotting away. Wow. So look at that. Absolutely fantastic. These be creepy at night though. Oh, creepy at night, yeah, definitely. I wonder if you like people to do a paranormal investigation at this area. I wonder. That would be some amazing footage, that. There, there we, we go. go so we've got one place to, one more place now, guys, up, just up the road from here, literally. Those houses down there. Within the same video. And all part of the same site, Penalt. Yeah, it's the same site, guys. It's all on the same site, the same video. And we'll check it out, guys. So, see you in a second. See you in a second. Time for your safety. Cliffs and quarry faces with scree and the boulder sloops. Don't <laughs> I don't plan on quarry, mate. I'm fucking naked. <laughs> and there's all quarry buildings down there. 
This quarry's massive, isn't it? Because all of this is the quarry. Yeah, it is. It goes all the way over there as well. There's like yeah, kilns it's down there. Definitely open, isn't it? it looks like it's open. Mm. So we might we might get some houses, some full on houses here. I don't know, mate. I don't know. Because those is it abandoned or is it Well they looked abandoned in two thousand and six on Torchwood, so and they look quite abandoned looking now. And I'm filming again. The windows are smashed, nothing. The roof is in good condition. Hmm. Fences around it are in good condition. Not sure. It's pretty tidy. I'm not sure. Yeah. But then they were used for torchwood anyway, so we might as well photograph them. Yeah. There's the kilns down there. Yep, building below. Yeah, I know the railway used to run along here, the towards Brecon there. Eh? Yeah. And then down to Neath. So between Brecon and Neath the line ran through here. Yeah. yeah. So this is some kind of structure here. I'm not sure. Looks something there. Some sort of tunnel. Got to get over here then. I think we could step over there. I like it. I know there's a bit of barbed wire, but it'd be alright. Be alright as long as you don't cut your balls. <laughs> Structures over here, and we realised we could have come straight through the climbing centre. Okay, <laughs> the so caving centre. A little bit funny before we get to that. There's, uh, there's a gate, gate just there. over by the over just over by the caving centre. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we've come here. Yeah, impaled our, there, you know. our blub spuds. Yeah. It runs right alongside the um, railway track. It does. The old, the old Merthyr Brecon, Merthyr Brecon, no, was it? The no, Brecon, 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 Brecon and Neath Railway, something like that. I don't think it went as far as Merthyr. You stumbled more, right, than. What do you call it? Jonathan Rosters, then. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know, but it's the Brecon and Brecon and Neath Railway. Brecon and Neath Junction Railway. That's what it was called. Brecon and Neath Railway. There we go. So it looks like there's a lot of fertilizer and yep. mud and shit. <laughs> and, sh yeah. and shit, yeah. Pretty so much. A domed building. All pretty structurally safe, and then you've got this big hole in the wind bad wall, but yeah, but <laughs> there. Well. So, God knows what was kept in here. I don't know what that is there either. That, to me, that looks like it is some sort of military installation. Could have been. No way. Yeah, I don't think this is, this ain't going nowhere. Oh, we could move this. We could get in there. So what's down there though? That's the question. So we've uncovered a cave, a mine. Mine. We've uncovered an old mine. Wow. Is that Duddle? Duddle. Dudley. Duddle. Dudley. Dudley is a mine. That's a Y, yeah. Dudley. Their name, name stone. Dudley's stones. mine. Is it Dudley or is it be? No, it's just a name stone, I think. Should we venture in? I don't know, man. Like you can see the old, where the mine cart tracks are down there. Yeah, you can. Well, I don't okay, think we can go all the way so in anyway. That piece of metal was covering a mine. A mine shaft. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I got a feeling this was placed here due to the climbing centre being over there. And this is maybe one of the mines that they use. Mm. Or uh, stopped using. Or stopped using. So I got a feeling this is definitely one of the mining clubs entrances to the mines and the tunnels around you. Question is, do we go in? Look inside the mine. Put the mask on. <laughs> Not that it'll do much, the gases, but... Uh, I am leaving my light director. Yeah. 
I got. I'll put leave my lighters out here because I've got two of them. Yeah. <laughs> put them up there. Yeah, I'll just leave it on the grass below them. Yeah. Make sure they don't fall. <laughs> I think it's banging this, eh? Hey, Be alright. No. Okay. Let's head inside. <laughs> you going in the mine? Who are we going in the mine? Can you get him? Oh, geez, geez, should I get my lights out? Um, well, I might have to swap the battery out for this anyway. It's very, very, yeah, it's very battery. Bad. You can see, turn it up a bit. Can you see better with that? A little bit better, yeah. Right, I'm, I'm going to slowly come down. I'm slowly coming down. Because there's water buckets for there and there's a filtration system. Shit. Yeah, so we ain't gonna go as far as that. No, we're not we're not gonna get in at all, are we? No, we're not gonna get in at all. That's uh that's a caving job that. But this is amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing, it's a tiny hole to get through. Oh, and I've got but look at that. I've got wet mud in my pants now. Yeah, me too, mate. <laughs> There's a bucket down with it and that's all, it's hoses are connected to it. So I got a feeling that's been pumping out the water from this mine. And we've got a cement bag there. Because I gotta be honest, some of this looks cemented. Yeah, it does some a bit. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it there, look. Yeah, some of this has all been cemented. So I got a feeling someone, the mining club, literally just behind us. Cave, well, the caving club. Yeah. The caving club, yeah, sorry, um, has been renovating this for the, the club, to be quite fair. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was a dodgy one. I like feeling that. Ooh. Is that a way in? No, it's not. What do you reckon, mate? Is that... What the... Fuck? It's like... What do you reckon? That span all the way over, connected to that. That's a kill, no, this is a... Yeah, but it's the same height. The infrastructure for the mine. There. Yeah, it could be. I mean, look at this. All that mine over there. Makes sense, doesn't it? It does. Makes a lot of sense, actually. This place is bonk. The dinner silica mines are full on. Yeah. Full on mine. We'll have to do that at some point. We'll need to bring the proper gear, though. Definitely. To do dinner silica. Look at that. Ooh. I don't think that's a mine, though. That's sharp. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, it has. Oh. As far as you can see, that's all these buildings as well. Yep. It's all the relics. Kilns. Very big, big buildings, you can imagine. All across. Oh. Indeed. It's all falling. It's all falling. All the way down. So I think this is roughly it, guys. There's not much. It is roughly it. Yeah. Indeed. A lot of rubble now. There's nothing special. Honestly, it's Welsh history, but... Welsh mining history. Yeah, it's Welsh mining history and street mining and quarry history. But as you can see, this is all knocked down. All gone. All, all gone. Gone but not forgotten. Gone but not forgotten. 100%. 100%. Amazing. What about the drone up over here? Yeah. Oh, yeah.
strictly a van. <laughs> but this is where they filmed Torchwood here, so with the pub that, that was the pub that that building there. That's where they set the pub. It's not abandoned now, but 